I'm Sin, also known as T-Shirt Chick, and I'm here with Karen in, Cal in sunny California here at Bagwear. Today we're going to be talking about some specialty prints. With The Rock, a specialty print, it, it's, it's a piece of cake. Just like the manual, only faster, you can do simulated process prints on here, uh, water base, discharge, easy peasy on The Rock U. Can you tell us a little bit about the process that you're gonna be using today when we do the distress print? Well, basically, um, it all starts with the artwork. So we, uh, we set our artwork up in a way where um, the artwork is gonna have like holes all throughout the design. We're gonna, we printed our film. We're gonna take that film, put it on our screen, and then burn the screen on the exposure unit it's gonna give us what we see on our artwork. We're gonna put it on press and then we're gonna put it on a shirt. What types of uh, specialty printing like, like um, have you done? I've done some half tones and some distress printing. And uh, when I first started out, I was doing water-based printing and I moved over to plastisol printing. The thing that made me move from water-based to plastisol was because you have to underbase everything if you're going to be printing on a dark shirt. With the plastisol, the inks are thicker, so you know it, it's going to show up good on the dark shirts, and you don't necessarily have to underbase everything. I've used water base maybe once or twice on a manual. I haven't had the chance to do it yet on the auto, but I'm going to. Because the rock is automatic, it should have some setting for water base maybe, I'm not sure. Have you played around with it? Too? No, not yet. Yeah, because the main thing is remembering to flood your screen, and I'm thinking, you know, if you're using using an automatic press, it, it should, it's not gonna forget. No, because when, when the screen goes forward, it, it when it goes back, it automatically floods it again, so it doesn't ever leave the image open. I know, like with my shop, I'm running pretty much by myself. If a customer come in and you forget that that screen got that water-based ink on it, you'll have to burn a whole new screen. <laughs> exactly, because it will dry in yeah. the screen, and that, that'll be it. You won't be printing on that for sure. In here, these yeah. are all our, our um, inks. So we have um, um, foil adhesive, uh, different types of plastisol, different types of inks for um, polyester and stuff like that. There's discharge right there. That's emulsion. That's that green stuff you see on the screen. That's emulsion. It's like developing film. This is our exposure unit. So this is a piece of film. This is how we get that image on that screen right there by developing it on here. We have a, uh, what is this? I think it's a 50-50 uh, port and company t-shirt and we printed this distress print on it. And what makes it distress is in the artwork, the way we did the artwork by putting the imperfections all through the artwork to make the shirt look older than it is. It's just a simple black ink, plastisol ink, and uh, it's a one hit that we did on it. And pretty much that's it, and that's how we did our distress. You, there's many ways to do this, but this is how we did this design here. This is how we do it. 